Sweden, wild, open, an abundance of forests and lakes, this Scandinavian country is known not only for its outstanding beauty and views of the Northern Lights, but its mix of diverse, friendly, kind, environmentally conscious people, stylish architecture, excellent public services, and one of the best work-life balances in the world. Oh, and of course, for gifting the rest of the world IKEA and Spotify. With all it has to offer, it's no wonder Sweden welcomes over 2 million tourists a year. So we decided to compile a list of the best things to do in this beautiful country. Watch till the end to find out what our number one pick is. It's probably not what you expect. Love hiking. Sweden's rugged wilderness and stunning landscape make it one of the best places to explore in Europe. A real dream come true for any adventurer. Visit one of its national parks or go on a trekking tour along the classic remote Kungsleden or the King's hiking trail, spending the nights in cabins along your way. With 425 kilometers of trail to cover in total, it takes 17 days to complete. But you can just choose sections of the trail to cover instead and make your way through forests, mountains, lakes and valleys as you soak up the breathtaking natural beauty all around you. The Swedes don't just eat meatballs, you know, although they are delicious. Experience Sweden's many traditional dishes with a food tour around one of its major cities like Stockholm, Malmö and Gothenburg. It's gastronomy that you likely will have never experienced before, and most restaurants offer exceptional quality. From lingonberry jam to an insane amount of sill, pickled herring, Swedish food is worth exploring and you'll quickly fall in love with the tradition of fika, gathering with the locals to eat pastries and cakes, drink coffee and chat. One of Sweden's most underrated attractions, the Stockholm 110 km long metro system is the longest art gallery in the world, with more than 90 of its 110 stations brimming with incredible art. A far cry from the usual dreary, run-down metro systems of most major cities, Stockholm's metro is truly one of a kind. Taking a ride on the subway is like being in your own mobile art gallery that stretches from modern-day art experiments all the way back to the artistic pioneers of the 1950s. Can you imagine sleeping in a bedroom carved out of ice? In Jukasjärvi, northern Sweden, 10 kilometers to the east of Kiruna, you can find the Ice Hotel, which features, you guessed it, rooms entirely made out of sculpted ice. They do say sleeping in a colder environment is optimal. At minus 5 to minus 8 degrees Celsius, you can definitely consider it cold. But you won't freeze. You'll be sleeping on beds covered in reindeer hides and tucked up inside a thermal sleeping bag. However, warmer rooms are available along with a sauna, wood-burning hot tub and an ice bath, if you do fancy a cold shock to the system. The area around the Ice Hotel is also super popular for outdoor winter activities like snowmobiling, reindeer sled excursions and dog sledding. You can go dog sledding in various places around Sweden and even begin your Arctic adventure the moment you land. You can book dog sled transport from the airport direct to your destination, led through the snow by huskies into the wilderness. The muffled pad of their paws on the snow, the soothing hushed tones of the musher as he communicates with the panting dogs is an exciting yet tranquil once-in-a-lifetime experience. Of course, you can't go to Sweden without bearing witness to the incredible natural phenomenon that is the Aurora Borealis, or the Northern Lights. Best viewed between September to late March, you'll have to head north as you're unlikely to see them in the south. Somewhere north of Lulea, you'll cross into the Arctic Circle, and this is where your chances of seeing the Northern Lights dramatically increase. The best place to see them is from the town of Jokmok, up towards the border with Norway. Staying in the north, witnessing the midnight sun is nothing short of magical. In fact, you can experience this in other Nordic countries too, but for the most northern part of Sweden, the sun never sets during the summer. This means 24 hours of daylight. To see this spectacular sight as the clock strikes midnight, the further north you go, the better, like Jokmok, just north of the Arctic Circle. Of course, Sweden is synonymous with the Vikings, filled with Viking lore and legend. 
While you can visit the Vasa Museum to understand more about the Viking life, why not also consider booking a Viking meal? In the centre of Stockholm's old town lies a steep staircase signposted by a strange sign covered in runes. Descend the stairs and find yourself in a dark basement that leads to Eifer, a restaurant devoted to all things Viking. It's not just the decor, but each item of food and drink is tied to Viking legend. If you book in advance, you'll be announced by Horn for the true Viking experience. Did you know that the red-haired character Pippi Longstocking is Swedish? From Viking lore to fairy tales, if you're visiting Sweden with children, or not, Astrid Lindgren's fairy world is a must-visit. A popular outdoor theatre based on the fairy tales of Lingden, you'll meet the characters from Swedish folklore and fairy tales who children can interact with between performances and become an exciting part of the adventure. Steeped in history, it's unsurprising that ghost stories and supernatural tales are rife in Sweden. If you're visiting Stockholm, what better way to get a historical background of the city than with a ghost tour? You'll not only get to know the city better, but you'll hear about the mythical legends, murders and diseases that plagued Stockholm's past. Follow the lantern light of your guide down the little cobblestone streets and dark alleyways as you gain a deeper insight into the capital's rich history.